Alright, everybody. So, this is like, it's gonna be like a review, but it's like not like a full on review because I just gotta talk about these things. I wanted to do this when I watched Community because Community is an old show, but I loved it so much. It's like I wanted to talk about it on the channel. I was like, I don't really know how to do that. I wanna start doing this. Like, when I find something that's older and I really like it and I'm like kind of passionate about it, I wanna talk about it. A couple, I don't know, months, might have been like over half a month, I mean, half a year ago now. There was rumors that Charlie Cox's Daredevil was gonna be in Spider-Man No Way Home. And I was like, dude, that's so crazy. Like the Netflix stuff is finally crossing over. People have been wanting it to cross over. I know Daredevil is like the most beloved out of all the Netflix stuff. So I was like, that is sick. Like, I'm so excited. I'm like, I gotta go watch Daredevil now. And I knew there was other, other shows involved and I was talking to my roommates about it and they were like, well, if you're gonna watch Daredevil, you need to just watch all of it. And I was like, that's fair. When it was coming out, I was on my parents' Netflix account and they had like parental restrictions on it. So I wasn't allowed to watch the TVMA stuff. So like, I missed out on all the Netflix stuff. Like it always interested me, but I couldn't, I couldn't watch it. And then when I moved out, I mean, I got the codes to Netflix, but by then, all the Netflix stuff was kind of old and had already all been canceled. And I was like, it's not, the MCU is not going to acknowledge it. So I just like, I never went back and watched it. But now that there's hope that is being acknowledged, I was like, I'm going to watch it. So when you're watching the Marvel Netflix stuff, the first thing you watch is Daredevil season one. But I love Daredevil like it's so good but out of all the shows so far daredevil is the best show probably but i don't know if it's what i've like enjoyed the most but charlie cox is awesome is matt murdoch daredevil he is he's so i didn't know he was british until like a couple of days ago either and i'm like that's just so cool to me like when you don't even know that just shows you like how good they are and then the vincent guy is wilson fisk kingpin and oh my gosh, he's great. And then you have uh, supporting roles like Foggy and Karen and Claire. And I can't, like the first season was like so good. Like the whole like Daredevil origin to him like becoming Daredevil. And then Fisk's like, it's like there's like background episodes for him. And also just like, kind of man he is like he's like he's like very professional and like probably prefers not to get his hands dirty but when he has to he goes all out but like there's one scene but it's a car door that i kind of look away a couple times because i don't really i'm not in the gore you know matt murdoch balancing his matt murdoch and the daredevil between like being a lawyer and being a vigilante it's almost like how does that work but he's awesome and you also get to like see like all the stuff he can do even though he's blind like his senses are like dialed up to 11 or probably more like as spider-man would say i feel like his senses are probably more than spider and spider sense spider man spider sense is more like a in the moment like oh where daredevil is like he's like constantly because he's like he's blind so he's constantly having to sense things daredevil season one really sets off this netflix universe i really hope he gets to come back in spider-man it's still a rumor but i kind of feel like they're gonna go for it because of like i don't know i'm just gonna be super disappointed if he's not there the action in the show is crazy you know the one shot hallway scene it's like how long did it take you to film that and it finally comes down to him and Fisk, and they have a pretty awesome fight too. If you know Fisk gets put in jail, and you're still wondering if like Matt and Karen are gonna get together, it can get kind of bloody though. And you're into superhero stuff, if you're into Marvel stuff, you should definitely check it out. I really enjoyed it, and if you enjoy Daredevil, and you wanna talk about something, don't talk about season three, because I haven't seen it yet, but uh, Drop something in the comments and we'll talk about it because I really like this show. And if like if there's something that happened in season one that I didn't bring up, 
uh, just ask me about it and I'll tell you what I thought about it. So you can check out some of the reviews, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time.